In this video, we're gonna be adding an email capture form to our WordPress website. The form looks just like this, and it can be added pretty much anywhere you'd like on your website. The plugin is compatible with most of the major email providers, including MailChimp, Aweber, Mad Mimi, and loads of others. So you should be fine on that front. And yeah, it's just really great. I love it. So let's go and take a look. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So yeah, as I said, we're gonna be adding an email form to our WordPress website today. I'm gonna to be adding it to the Boot Boutique website. The form looks just like this, as I already showed you. And yeah, it's really easy to customize the colors, the layout, and all sorts of different things. The plugin comes with a number of predefined templates, all these to be fair. So you've got loads of choice when it comes to customizing the forms, look and feel. Anyway, I think that's enough chit chat for me. Let's get on the computer and get it set up. Okay, so the plugin I'm gonna be using today is called Bloom. It's a really, really nice email opt-in sort of plugin. Um, it comes with a whole load of templates uh, which are really easy to customize and they look great. You can place these templates wherever you like on your website. So you can have it as like a pop-up, as a fly-in down in the corner of the screen. You can have it actually within content. So you can kind of just drop them in with a short code. Uh, you can have them below your content, so below your posts or below your products on a WooCommerce site. Uh, you can stick them in as a widget uh, down one of your sidebars or in your footer or header. And it's even got a uh, require opt-in to unlock content feature. So if you want to kind of protect some of your blog posts or articles uh, and make it so that someone has to enter their email address before they can access them, uh, you can do that too with this plugin. Now, unfortunately, it's not a free plugin. Um, I would have recommended a free plugin if I had one, in fact, in my previous videos where we used to use uh, Sumo Me, which was free for a while. Um, I used to recommend that, but then that became paid for. And as you'll know from my other videos, I do prefer premium uh, themes and plugins because I think you get a much better product and you get better service and you get better support. So there is gonna be a small fee involved, um, which is only, let me just <laughs> show you how much it is. It is $89 for the year or 249 for a one-time fee. Now, not only do you get this great uh, plugin, uh, Bloom, but you also get access to a number of themes as well, which I'm gonna be featuring in some upcoming videos. You get access to the excellent Divi theme, uh, which is this one here, which is a very, very flexible uh, theme. It's got a visual drag and drop page builder. You also get access to Extra, which is a uh, blogging theme. Again, very powerful, very nice looking. And in fact, there are loads and loads and loads of themes that you get access to, 88 to be precise, um, and they're all in here, as well as the Bloom plugin, as well as the Divi Builder, um, Page Builder plugin. You get uh, access to Monarch Social Sharing plugin, again, which is another um, great plugin for sharing stuff on social media, which I'm gonna be doing a video on very soon. It allows you to add some social uh, sharing buttons to your posts and pages. So you get a ton of great stuff for the money. Um, say it's $89 for the year, very, very reasonable. I'm gonna put a link up on the screen now um, and a card so that you can just click through and um, join up so you can access the download. It is an affiliate link, so thanks very much if you use it. I only recommend products that I use myself, so um, you can be sure that you're gonna be getting something good. But anyway, let me um, log in so that I can download um, the plugin. Here we go, so I'm looking for Bloom, here it is. Let's click download. And let's just download that into my downloads folder. Okay, so the site I'm gonna be adding it to today is the Boot Boutique site, which you may have seen in previous videos. It's an Amazon affiliate website. Um, I'll put a link up to the tutorial in which I make this site. And it's got some blog posts and it's got some um, Ooh, where's the blog post in blog? Yeah, it's got some blog posts and some products and I wanna be adding the form below the blog posts and below the products. So here's a blog post. So I wanna kinda of stick it at the bottom there. Then also on the uh, products, I want to add it so that when you look at the product, there's an opt-in form uh, towards the bottom of this. So let's do that now. I'm gonna log into the site by the usual WP admin. Then we're gonna install the plugin. 
I'm gonna be hooking up the plugin to uh, MailChimp, but it does work with many, many other email providers, uh, 16 or so, I believe. So we're logged in, let's go down to uh, plugins and add new. I'm gonna select upload plugin and choose the file. There it is, so I just got it twice, I <laughs> downloaded it before, Never mind. Let's click install. So that's just gonna upload and extract and all that sort of stuff. That's done, let's click activate. Okay, so that's installed and activated. So now we just need to set it up. So you'll see that there's now an option uh, down your left-hand side navigation, um, where, which says blue. So it's in here that we create our forms and hook up our email accounts. Let's hook up the email accounts first. So we're gonna to connect to our email provider. As I said, I'm gonna be using MailChimp. So we've got no account set up now. We need to click the new account button. And here you can select your email provider. There they all are. As I said, there is quite a few to choose from. Hopefully you're using one of these already. If you're not, then I would recommend MailChimp. It's a good place to start. Uh, I'll put a link up on the screen and a card so you can click straight through. It is an affiliate link, but I do use MailChimp myself. I think it's a great piece of software. Um, so yeah, there's a free trial as well, so you don't have to pay anything on that one. So let's select MailChimp. And then it's gonna ask for our account name and API key. So I need to go over to MailChimp to get that information. So let's open a new tab and go to MailChimp.com. Okay, here we are. So let's click login. And then in we go. So if you don't have an account, you'll need to sign up for one. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a list. Um, basically a list is just obviously a, a list of email addresses and you probably wanna create one for different sites or different projects that you've got going on. Here's my current lists and let's create a new one. So let's click create list. I'm gonna call it Boot Boutique. Default address is info at bootboutique.co.uk. Default name is Boot Boutique. You joined over on Boot Boutique. So you just need to add a note as to where the subscribers join. So if they forget, and you need your address and all that stuff as well. Once we're done, let's click uh, save. Oh, you can set your notifications here. We do want to be kind of uh, get an email when someone does sign up. You can have it as one by one or a daily summary. Um, I'll go for one by one for now. Let's click save. So now we have our list, so that's perfect. So the next thing we need to do is just get our API key, which you can find up in profile. Obviously this will vary depending on the email provider you're using. Hopefully you'll be able to find it quite easily. It's in extras and API keys on MailChimp. And there it is, so I'm just gonna uh, copy and paste that. So I've got that in my clipboard, let's go back to the website. My account name is Alex Digital, and then I'm gonna paste in that API key and click authorize. There we go, and it's showing me the lists I've got. There's the Boot Boutique one I just set up. So let's click save and exit. It shows our list and our subscribers. So that's all ready to go. Now we just need to create a, uh, a form. So to do that, we click on the uh, little house for opt-in forms and then click new opt-in. And here's where we can decide the sort of form we like. As I said, there's many different options. I'm gonna go for the below post because I want it to appear below uh, products and blog posts. Uh, let's call it the below post form. You can give it a name, whatever you like. Select MailChimp which is what we've already set up. Select my account, which is that one. And then select the list, which is Boot Boutique. And let's click next to design our opt-in form. And there are many, 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 many different ones to choose from. I'm gonna go for one which just has a box for email address. I'm not worried about name or any of that stuff, but obviously you can collect whatever information you like. Uh, some of them you can see have got free uh, fields. Some of them have got one. Um, and yeah, there are loads to choose from all different colors and different styles. Uh, and you can customize them further once you've selected one. So yeah, there are there are loads of 
really cool ones to choose from. Let's go for um, something like this one with the green, that's quite nice. Then we'll click next to customise it. You can change the title. Subscribe to our newsletter to get great boot offers. So you can put whatever you like there. And we have a little message, join our mailing list to receive the latest news and offers, including discount vouchers and special deals. So that's fine. It comes with a image like that, but you can obviously um, change it to be whatever you like. You might wanna choose your um, your logo or something like that. I'll leave it just as that for now. And you've got some little animations in terms of how it loads, sliding up is fine. By the way, there's a little eyeball there or a preview button at the top, so as you're editing, you can click that to have a look and see what the form looks like. That's what it looks like so far, which is just fine. I'm gonna add a few more words. In fact, I'm just gonna add a return. I'm gonna put, we promise. To never send you spam ever. In fact, I'm going to bold that. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, didn't bold it, but it doesn't matter. Looks fine. <laughs> Obviously, didn't do a bold. Here, you can uh, tweak things even further. You've got your fonts, you've got colors, um, all sorts of things, really. So you can change it exactly as you like. You have square corners, rounded corners, whatever you like. Here you can set up your form orientation and say as you change these things, you can then just click on the little eyeball to see the thing. So let's put the form on the right. I want it on the bottom, I think that's nice. And you've got your fields. The only field we've got, we haven't got any name fields, but you could add name fields if you liked and then you can change um, what they say in terms of the uh, kind of placeholder. Here we've got some more styling options. Um, so you can play around with this for as long as you like. You've got some even some different edge styles. Let me just have a look what that looks like. So the moment we were on the little straight one, this one's got a little dink in it. <laughs> Let's have a look what that looks like. Oh yeah, a little dink. That's quite nice. We'll leave the dink. Or you could have a kind of jagged effect there. Let's have a look at that. Hmm, the jagged effect's quite nice too. I'm gonna go for the dink. If it is a dink, I'm gonna call it a dink. You can have, um, uh, some footer text, not quite sure what you'd have there. This is some footer text, let's just have a look what that looks like. Yeah, that'd probably be where you might wanna add your, um, your spam message, but you can add some other trust sort of message, like something like 100% secure. In fact, I'm not gonna bother with the footer text, but you get the idea. Uh, and then your success message um, is what people get when they've successfully joined up to your newsletter. So let's go to the display settings, which is the next one. So here we can decide where we want to uh, display the form, obviously, uh, as the name suggests, that's why it's called display settings. So at the moment it's just ticked to be on the posts, but I want it on products as well, so I'm gonna tick that. A little bit confusing these buttons actually, because there's a tick in it anyway, but the gray tick means it's not ticked. So you need a green tick to make sure that it's ticked. You can choose um, particular categories regarding, uh, if you want it just to show in a certain category of posts or certain category of products, but I'm just gonna leave them all ticked. Um, you can add it to some pages. You just start typing in those pages now. You can uh, make sure that it's not shown on certain posts by typing them in here. Or you can just type in there uh, if you want it to display on certain posts, so maybe just one or two, but I don't, I'm not quite sure why you'd want to do that really. Uh, unless you've got a very specific form for a very specific thing, that'd be why, I guess. But for this one, I'm just gonna show uh, on all my products and on all my posts. So let's click save and exit, and then I think we're probably about done. So you get some nice stats and you can see, uh, obviously once it starts working, your conversions and impressions and, and all that sort of thing. So let's go to the website and just see what's happened. So look at a product first, this lovely boot. Okay, if we scroll down, there is our form. 
it's looking good. So yeah, there we go. And then if I enter my email address, let's go for this one. There we go. Works a charm. So that's perfect. There are obviously some other designs and so I've actually added it to Zombie Merc as well, which is a very similar site running a very similar theme, but it's got a sidebar. So if I show you what it looks like uh, on here. On a blog post, say. Got this form going on, which is powered by exactly the same plugin. It looks nice and I went for a little zombie logo there. Let's just go back to Boot Boutique and just have a look at what it looks like on the blog posts on here. And scroll down. There we go. Obviously this page should have a sidebar but I've not added any widgets just yet, but yeah. It's looking good. So um, I hope you found that video useful. And uh, yeah, good luck with your email forms. Hope you found that useful. Please, if you did, I'd love it if you could click the like button. If you've got any more questions uh, around, well, anything to do with WordPress, I'm happy to answer them. Please leave them in the comments below. As always, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe by clicking on the little eagle there, and you'll also be the first then to know when I do an upload. And here is a video, just here, that I've specially selected just for you that I think you're gonna enjoy. So if you wanna go and watch that, give it a little click, and uh, I hope you like it. But until next time, that's bye for now.